So, hello, my name is uh, Luis Ferreira, and during my studies for uh, computer science, I started noticing some uh, similarities, similarities between the, the concepts that I was learning, both in uh, hardware and software, and between uh, human nature and, uh, yeah, humans and also nature. For example, on the left image, you see someone that's uh, approaching someone else and just asking for the time. So this usually goes, you approach someone, you say hello, and you wait for a response to check if the person is actually listening to you. Uh, if you get a response, you ask, well, what's the time? You get a response and you continue with, with your life. When, for example, you are trying to access a website, the same thing happens with your computer and with a server. Your computer asks a server, so is someone there? If the reply is, uh, is correct, then you actually ask for the website and you see the website on your page. Same thing happens with, uh, for example, artificial intelligence. The most successful algorithms are the ones based on uh, neurons and uh, your, uh, your, how your neurons in your brain actually work. So these kind of, uh, these kind of uh, similarities uh, led me to be a bit curious. If we influence technology so much, I would like to also know how technolog technology can influence us and uh, change our perception sometimes. So I'm going to go over all the senses for quite quickly and uh, we start with touch. And uh, for example, Disney created something called the uh, Disney Revel. And uh, what this allows us is to, through a device that can be placed on the object or actually also on yourself, uh, it, uh, it uh, uh, sends you some, uh, some current through that device. And through that current, you can, uh, for example, pass your hand around the flat surface and uh, it will change the way uh, your, uh, your, um, the, drag force, the drag force between the surface and your finger. So for example, even if you touch a completely flat surface, you can feel some bumps and therefore change the texture out of a normal object. If you, for example, you can see here that uh, the person is touching that uh, porcelain thing, I don't know the name, but is actually perceiving the, the textures that are actually displayed on the screen. And same, th same thing there, you can uh, feel like some strings from the jellyfish. And I never tried this, but uh, tried something similar and it actually works for, to my surprise. So we go over to taste now, and uh, on taste, I found about this uh, something called the delicious vessel. And what this allows us is to actually change the flavor of a drink or a food. And it does this by placing some uh, silver, uh, silver electrodes on a spoon or on a cup, for example. And when you put it in your mouth to drink or eat, uh, depending on the current that's going to be passed through that silver, you can get a more bitter taste, sweeter taste, sweeter. Um, and uh, as you can see in that, uh, that picture there. Of course, not only the, the um, you don't perceive some uh, taste not only through your tongue, there's a, also other components like the color and everything, but this is something that uh, also to me that was a bit surprising to learn. We go over to smell, and uh, on smell I found out about this scent speaker, so to say, and what it does uh, is that through a small speaker you can get about 20 or 30 different scents uh, and you, can, you have a, a phone, uh, an app on your phone that can actually control what you are smelling. And one of the interesting things about this app is that they actually developed a film, a movie, uh, where the main character goes in, in his adventures and in some parts of the movie you get different scents. So it's like adding a no, uh, an extra dimension to a movie that otherwise would be just a cartoon. On the hearing, you have a bone conduction headphones, not sure if you already heard about this, but what this allows you to actually hear some music like uh, with normal headphones, but keeping your ear canal open. So at the same time, you're actually hearing the, the music that you want through some vibrations on your cheekbones. You can also continue to hear the surroundings uh, around you. And this is something, for example, for bikers or for, to go out for a run, you can still perceive and be aware of the environment around you while still listening to your music. And uh, this one I never tried, but I would be very happy to try. And going to sites, uh, probably most of you already heard about virtual reality headsets, VR headsets, and, but there's also something called augmented reality headsets. And uh, the difference between this is that, for example, in virtual reality headsets, everything that you see, so the, the headset blocks your entire view, and everything that you see is computer generated. With augmented reality, part of what you see is actually re reality because you can see through the glasses. So for example, I could be looking at this room and I could be seeing, for example, a character like you see on the, this image. I could be seeing a character that I'm designing in real time on the computer. 
So that brings a lot of uh, new advantages and new possibilities. And for example, something that is also seems very interesting is the tilt brush from Google. And this one is actually available if you have an HTC Vive. You can, instead of just doing a, a drawing on a normal page, you can do a drawing on a 3D area and you can be inside the drawing at the same time. So you can get closer, you can get more far away while you draw. So this was a bit of a very quick uh, explanation of uh, the five senses. Uh, I can, uh, can give you more uh, in-depth explanation if you want. And of course, apart from the how it works, I'm not going over the ethics of if you should make water taste sweet or something like that. Like that.